You can imagine the kind of power that is used to produce. Welcome back One Love Jamaica family. Now I'm currently at the Angels Roundabout just outside of Spanish Town in St. Catherine. I'm on Michael Sobrati Avenue as you can see behind me. So the sign says the MJS Tech Park. We'll be looking, taking a look at the Tech Park and also we'll be taking a look at the roundabout. You, you'll see that pole over there. That's a part of the Rare Cobra early warning system which yeah, there's one here. I think there's one in Kent Village and there's another in Bogwalk. So we'll be just looking at the system and also the tech park. I do hope you enjoyed this video this week. Taking a closer look to have a better, better view of what, this, to see the makeup of what is the Ray Cobra early warning system. So as we look here, we can see that that seems to be some kind of power supply. There are, as you can see, solar panels up there that would provide the power and right up at the top you can see the speakers so i'm assuming that whenever there is danger you'll probably hear either somebody's voice or they'll hear a particular alarm sound that will alarm residents so that they can move and this is mainly for the residents that live in the angels community just behind that area is where you'll find the raya cobra and there's the angels plaza we're looking at that side we're seeing kfc and as I said earlier, that's the entrance to the MJS Tech Park. And as per usual, we'll be getting the, I'll be showing drone footage, just showing what this area looks like from a, a different angle. Here is where persons would normally walk to enter the premises. Well, the gate is closed, so I'm assuming there's no kind of motor vehicle traffic expected. So this is where persons would enter the property and proceed further up. From, the, from this point on, I'll be showing you drone footage that shows the building and the entranceway. The MJS Tech Park is a cutting-edge industrial and technology park in St. Catherine, Jamaica, developed from the former Ari Guanabo textile mill. The transformation of the site into a state-of-the-art business complex reflects Jamaica's push towards economic modernization, particularly in the tech and outsourcing sectors. The park is operated by MGS Industrial Park Limited with a strong focus on environmental, social and governance principles. This means it integrates sustainable practices such as renewable energy and paper-free operations into its business model. One of its major tenants is Sagility, a tech-enabled outsourcing company that has invested around US $7 million in a new call center at the park. This facility is expected to employ over 1,000 people, boosting job opportunities in the region. MJS Tech Park is strategically located near Spanish Town and Angels, making it accessible for business and workers. It provides a modern space for companies looking to expand in Jamaica's growing business process in outsourcing. BPO and technology sectors. By repurposing an old industrial facility into a high-tech business center, the park supports economic growth, creates jobs, and enables Jamaica's global competitiveness. MJS Tech Park is a prime example of industrial redevelopment for the modern economy, with its strategic location, sustainable infrastructure, and role in fostering business expansion. It is set to become a key player in Jamaica's evolving tech and outsourcing landscape. The One Love family, we're just going to go on a little ride to seek out the other poles that are a part of the Ray Cobra early emergency warning system. Like I said earlier, this is the Angels Plaza that we're going by now. Over on your left, you'll see another this is Angel's Estate, phase one on your left hand. And we're looking at the Fesco gas station over here, which they have become very popular now in Jamaica. To your right is where you could go to enter the pool. And there is a new Popeyes and Burger King that has been built in this section of the, this section of the Angel's community. Now we're heading towards the damaged community. which all old school Spanish town people know 
what was where what the, one of the original the original not one of the original community that was in this area is called Damhead because of well obviously this is where you have the Damhead in the Raya Cobra. Oh, there seems to be some patching work going on on the roadway. So you know, this is going to hold us up just a little bit. But you know, so as we say in Jamaica, if you want good, you know, it's a run. So we just have to bear this little bit of inconvenience. There are two trailers coming down. Hence the reason why I had to come to a complete stop. You'll be seeing those trailers within a few seconds. Here's one coming and there's another one coming down and a few other vehicles. Well, it's better they do it on a because it's on the weekend, it's better to do it on the weekend when there will be less issues. It's still, it's still an inconvenience to many because you know, we're miserable and we don't like that, but it's for at the end of the day, better roadways, the quicker we can go about our business. You can see, men are hard at work, persons are proceeding. Caution. I think there's an issue in front of us with, with the truck. There's a pink truck as you can see in the background. Sometimes, you know, sometimes a minute can almost seem like a lifetime in these kind of situations and our mind, our brain kind of tricks us into thinking that it's much longer. You can see the workman working you know, in terms of compressing the asphalt on the road to get the road nice and smooth. You can see the most part of the, the gentleman is there, he's island the, the, the area while the other men wait. Here's the flagman. And here is the square for the Damhead community. To your right, so this, the National Irrigation Commission Limited Damhead sign. And over there is where the dam is. We're just a few kilometers away from the infamous flat bridge. There have been a few accidents there where vehicles have run off into the river in, a, in the last, I think, month and a half to two months. You know, a lot of persons are kind of scared <laughs> because there are no railings on the bridge. I personally have never had an issue, but I know a lot of persons when they come this way, they tend to close their eyes that's passengers, not necessarily drivers. I hope drivers are not closing their eyes. Yes, because they are scared of this area. Wall of Jamaica family. I'm just leaving from the flat bridge here and you wouldn't believe what happened to me today again. <laughs> I lost my drone. Fortunately, today, some young men from the, the, the Raya Corby area dived it out for me. After about, it was in the water for about an hour. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to retrieve the files on it. But I'm thankful, I'm grateful. It could have been worse. I could have permanently lost my drone. I haven't. Um, they were kind. They didn't want to necessarily be on camera. I can understand. But I just want to say thanks to them. I think one of them called himself Stapleton. Just like him. So just like Capleton, it's Stapleton. So I really appreciate that from them, you know. That kind gesture of them. You know, if I give them a little lunch money, but that's, that's the least, you know. Because man, I really take them time because I was not going into, going into that water. But people, I don't know about that water. And I take that kind of risk, but I'm a happy person right now. But anyway, that still doesn't stop my trick. You know, it was one of those things. You just go through situations like these from time to time. You know, I'm not one to complain. I want to always look at the positives. There are positives. You know, persons showed the good heart and the determination to find the aircraft underwater. So, you know, let's see if it works going forward. I do hope that happens. I'm going to dry it out now and see what happens. But anyway, moving on. So we're headed now to, as I said, look at some more of those um, uh, uh, poles that are part of the, the recovery emergency system. Many of you know what happens in this era when you have heavy rainfall. Well, you know these residents are resilient. You know, they're not, they're not moved no matter what. <laughs> it's 
a tough nature of us as Jamaicans. And as you see, the beautiful, anytime I drive through this area, it's one of the most relaxing places to be. You know, it connects with the nature, seeing all of this greenery. And the beautiful Raya Cobra. So now we're entering the Kent Village community. This was an old dilapidated building. I've noticed that the persons have someone has taken it over and done some repairs, which is a good thing. And I'm looking out now for where the, that pool. I think we should be close by. This is Kent Village. Nice little quiet community. Person standing on the road look like it look like they're coming from everybody's dressed in well most persons dressed in black seem like they're some kind of funeral service and as you if you look here now on the right hand we'll see another one of the poles as we say to alert residents of any flooding or any kind of disaster that may be affecting the area hurricanes heavy rains etc there's one more at the roundabout near Juicy Beef in Bogwalk. So yeah, one love Jamaica family. Uh, you can hear the almost crashing sounds of the water. As I said, there was this old hydro plant in this area. This is an area, a, a relatively popular area where persons come and they, I think they swim in this area. You can imagine the kind of power that is used to produce and a lot of persons have no idea that this is here in the Raya Cobra. I can actually feel the beads of water as much as I am some distance away that is currently splashing up on me and even now something like this now is something that I think we can really look at in terms of clean energy this would be a plus for us this and the one that has been abandoned there in St. Thomas. If you look over there, you can see some old metal, I guess where the water used to run through metal piping. Here also, that here has been blocked up. I can see that this here was a damp area back then. It's actually a very beautiful sight. There is where you'd find the train running to from Linstead to Spanish Town into the cave that goes straight to the hillside. That shows the kind of level of ingenuity from way back in the days of slavery. And you see this is a platform area. I'm not sure what used to run on these tracks. But this is fascinating and it's something that I really think that the government should look at. We can have all this raw power that's going to wait. So I'm going to get a little bit closer. Just for you to have an idea of the kind of power. I know when it's when you have heavy rainfall, this entire year it's filled with water up until this up to this section. You can see, you can almost feel the power coming. Look at that, that's amazing. It is amazing. Thing.
So we look over there, the beautiful calm waters of the Ray Cobra. That is due to at that gear that I just showed you that is down. So we are we're headed into Bagua. We are going to show you where the, the third pole is at the roundabout. Well, I really sorry I couldn't be able to show you any more drone footage here, but I can't take any risk by putting any batches back in the drone that has been removed. But I have to wait until it's fully dry. Maybe 24 hours before I can try a battery inside and see if it works. I hope to God it does work. If it doesn't, well, I'll have to just get it repaired. But as I said, it's just one of those things. The most important thing, I got the drone back. So now we're passing the different regular food vendors that you see as you enter the Bagua here. You see bananas and coconuts all out of this area. So we are now at the roundabout. The community of the left is juicy beef that seems to be some repairs going on. And as you can see, here's another one of those pools that will transmit by a sound or voice the warning for residents to take heed and to basically as we would say take for themselves in order to be safe just taking a picture right around the world over there in The Rayacobra Early Warning System RCEWS, is an advanced flood monitoring and alert mechanism implemented to safeguard communities surrounding the Bogwalk Gorge in St. Catherine, Jamaica. Launched in April 2019, the system aims to enhance the management of water-related disasters by providing timely and accurate flood warnings. The RCEWS incorporates several key components designed to improve flood prediction and response. Six intensity rain gauges are strategically installed to monitor rainfall levels within the Raya Cobra watershed, facilitating accurate assessment of potential flood conditions. These sensors continuously measure the river's water levels, providing real-time data crucial for early flood detection. Utilizing global system to, to form mobile communications GSM technology, the system ensures real-time data transmission enabling swift dissemination of flood alerts to authorities and residents. The upgrade of the RCEWS was financially supported by a grant from the Caribbean Development Bank, the CDB, amounting to approximately European $219,000. This funding facilitated the enhancement of the existing flood monitoring infrastructure ensuring it meets modern standards for efficiency and reliability by delivering timely and precise flood warnings the rcews plays a pivotal role in reducing the loss of life and minimizing property damage caused by flooding the system's real-time alerts enable residents and authorities to take proactive measures thereby enhancing community resilience against natural disasters the implementation of the raya cobra early warning system represents a significant advancement in Jamaica's disaster preparedness efforts, exemplifying the integration of modern technology to protect vulnerable communities. So one love family, we'll end the video here. I'm standing near a section of the damaged area where the water is dammed and it comes down in different channels. So I do hope you enjoy this video. Until the next one.